This was a, a, a delivery by a North Korean official on North Korean television uh, saying that Kim Jong-un had given the order to, to reopen that hotline, that communication channel between North and South Korea. Now, it's at Panmunjom, which is the truce village which pans both North and South Korea in the DMZ, the demilitarized zone. And it's been closed since February 2016. Now, we, we did hear from, uh, from officials here in South Korea that they tried twice yesterday to get through to North Korea. They've been trying at 9 a.m and 4 p.m. every single day since February 2016, just to check if North Korea had opened that communication channel. So it is significant that, uh, that North Korea has announced this. It is the next step forward uh, after that offer of talks from South Korea for, for next Tuesday, January 9th at the DMZ. Now, the official also said that, uh, that Kim Jong-un welcomes uh, South Korea's support for their participation uh, in, in the improvement of relations. He wished them success for the Pyeongchang Olympics and saying that it is important for them to discuss these details on the delegation and on the North Koreans coming uh, to South Korea for uh, the Olympic Games. We've already had uh, a response from South Korea, a very swift welcoming of this news. The presidential spokesman saying uh, that this is uh, this restoration means a lot. It means that there can be communications going forward in the future. Sarah.